We're here in Sydney, Australia's movie capital. Let's go and check out some famous locations you may have seen on the big screen. This would have to be one of the most recognisable spots in Sydney. Well, it is where Captain Cook landed, but uh, more importantly, it's where Tom Cruise drives over the exploding bridge in Mission Impossible 2. This is where Tom Cruise blows up the doors and makes his escape from the evil fortress. Bear Island is open for guided tours on Sundays. Mary, you were one of the location managers uh, for the film Australia and uh, behind us uh, we can see Strickland House which of course uh, was the scene for the Governor's Ball. Just explain what was involved in, in setting up this place uh, for the film. Well look, it was quite a difficult task essentially to try and find uh, a, a, a great location to set this up. We had to try and match Darwin's government house uh, and we had to try and do it in Sydney and this is such a beautiful building and it's of the, of the same sort of era. It didn't take a huge amount to set up but what we did was we actually laid a beautiful wooden dance floor out here and put beautiful Chinese lanterns, strung them all around here, put um, blinds up and just, just you know, smartened it all up a lot, a lot, put a marquee down at the end with an, a band playing in it and then just we had Hugh Jackman arriving through that door that you see up at the end there in his white tuxedo, looking very smart. Now, as you say, um, we're in Sydney and it was sort of recreating um, a, a building in Darwin. So I guess not many people know about the uh, the view that you can get from Strickland House. Yeah, yeah, the view is to die for. The view is, is one of the best in Sydney without question. Where we are in Sydney, we're surrounded by multi-million dollar mansions. Um, but this is open to the public. This is a beautiful public spot, which actually has, I think, the best view in Sydney. It, it is the gun barrel, what we call the gun barrel view, right down the barrel all the way to the Opera House and the Harbour Bridge, and it just looks stunning, absolutely stunning. Strickland House overlooks Sydney Harbour at Vaucluse. Well, Mary, Martin Place in Sydney's CBD, it's a hive of activity today, but um, it has been shut down on occasion for the, the odd big budget film. What's been filmed here? Some amazing stunts have been carried out here, absolutely mind-blowing stuff. For any Matrix fans out there, uh, they might recognise it as a spot where a helicopter was landed in the middle of Martin Place and took off again in the middle of Martin Place. Obviously, a lot of safety had to be gone through to make sure that could happen, but it was a fantastic stunt. Uh, then more recently we filmed Superman Returns here and again it was a wonderful stunt that was carried out. We had a car chase, uh, a car careering down all the way down Martin Place where you can see all the way down, bumping its way down, coming to a crashing halt in a fountain at the bottom of Martin Place which was spectacular and that was uh, driven by a mad character in the film called Kitty. Why Sydney? What is it about Sydney that attracts filmmakers? Sydney, I think, uh, like a, some other Australian cities, can look like a, a generic city, a generic American city, amongst other things. You can get a lot of different looks in one place in Sydney, and that appeals to filmmakers hugely. If you keep away from the harbour and the picture postcard looks of the, that you can obviously get, which are lovely, of the Harbour Bridge, you could be any, any American city.